Hello there guys and welcome back to Reborn with Michael Watson. When today I'm talking about how the law of attraction is actually wrong. What we're getting it wrong anyway. And what I want to describe to you is actually the truth about manifestation. The truth of how to achieve anything you want, heal anything you want and create an amazing life. I'm talking about this today because this is exactly what I've experienced in my life. My life has changed dramatically over the last few years. Living by these lifestyles and principles that I talk about on this channel. Now, if you like Spirituality Simplified, just give me a like, share and a subscribe and you can check out much more of this content. Um, thank you firstly for watching this video. I'm back from a week away. It's been a wonderful week of recharging, regrouping, uh, aligning my energy and today it really made me want to speak about this subject. Now in the law of attraction, let's talk about it first. What are we taught in the law of attraction? We're taught that if you raise your vibration or you figure out your vibration to, uh, to basically attract that which you want. So if you want to become a millionaire, you need to figure out the vibrational uh, frequency of a millionaire. You need to raise your vibration to health. You need to do this. And this is what I'm saying. Do not, these principles do not serve you. And why I'm talking about it today is because the law of attraction makes you feel like you have to become something else. You have to uh, find out something else. What I want you to know and what I want you to really understand is that there's nothing you need to find. The answer to everything you want is already within you. It's actually so different. Don't raise your vibration. Let go of the energetic muck that has been blocking your wonderful vibration that you already are. You see, you're born with this perfect, beautiful energy. You're, you're coming into this experience as a perfect being. I've been really getting into my Lord of the Rings at the moment, and forgive this reference, but I'm chucking it in. Gandalf is what they call a Maya, which would be a um, like an almost like angelic being. And he comes to Earth to aid the people of Middle Earth. And he takes on the cloak of flesh and becomes an old man. He, he comes as an old man. But we do the same thing in life. We're these perfect whole beings that come into experience. Uh, we're born into this life and we learn then how to become human. But actually the innate ability of us is divine uh, connected to the one source of divinity where we have access to things that are undeniable so what I'm trying to say to you is, is the law of attraction is a wonderful concept and it's how I got my foot in the door with the secret and everything like that that sent me on my spiritual path but the truth is is that there's nothing that you need to actually become what you need to do is release let go of all of the pain that you've been holding on to all this time. When I suddenly realized that everything that was causing me what I perceived as an issue in my experience was because of the pain of the past that I hadn't resolved. What, let me actually give you some details into this. You see, when you are on a journey of discovery and changing your life, what I want you to really understand is that your reactions are the best sign that is going to tell you where you are on an energetic level. If you're very reactive and responsive to the outside world, if it makes you feel something, it makes you get a, a visceral reaction, it means that you're very tapped into reality. It means that reality is very solid for you. It means that you're holding on to a lot of emotional energy from the past. Why does someone like Michael Singer uh, manifest and create absolute uh, abundance in his business through surrender. Why is that the case? Why are some of these teachers who talk about surrender, they create amazing successes in their life? Why is that? Because they realize the truth that letting go of the parts of you that you have picked up along the journey is how you get back to the true core values of who you are. You see, you are a spark of the divine. If you decide something in your mind, it will manifest. But we have this sort of constraint of what we feel like is space-time. But there is no such thing as time and space. It is all a construct or a simulation, in a sense, of who we, how we think it must be. So what I'm trying to say to you is this. You do not need to sit there and getting high giddy on the idea of wealth. 
you need to understand that once you start to let go of everything, wealth cannot help but be drawn to you. If you're trying to heal, you do not need to forcibly be giddy about your health. You need to understand that it's your reactions, it's that part of you that is so connected to the discord of your own illness that you need to let go of. You need to actually surrender that part of yourself. How do you do it though? Well, you notice how you feel about the situation. Your feelings are the indicator of where you are not in alignment. You see, alignment is the key. Not raising a vibration, it is aligning. <clears throat> do you think that uh, the divine has any struggle creating anything? Do you think it has to align itself? No, it's abs uh, I mean, raise its vibration? No, it's absolutely perfect as it is. So are you underneath all of this your energy is perfect underneath all the muck so what i'm asking you to do and what i compel you to do is to sit with yourself quiet the mind in a meditative state observe the fact that you have some discord in your body some energetic uh sort of expression in your body that is not becoming of the divine creature that you are and all you want to do is observe it because your awareness is also part of your divinity. And as you're aware of these things, it, <clears throat> it's like the light that, sh that, that takes out the dark. Awareness is like shining a light on the shadow. Do you see what I mean? So you look at the shadow, you observe the shadow, and you watch it. The shadow cannot exist in the light. So this is what we do. So this is how we reveal the true self i want you to start to realize you reveal the self then health abundance and all these things happen i'm in a time in my life where my whole life is transformed none of it was from raising my vibration it was from correcting the wrong energy that was sh that was coming up it was from noticing my reactiveness it was from noticing where i was acting from fear rather than peace and it was finding true peace and harmony in my heart and mind and soul if you can align heart, mind and soul to peace, all you have to do is a very gentle intention of what you want. Put no time restraint on it. Put no effort into requiring it. Accept the consistency of showing up. And watch out. Watch this space. Because something amazing is going to happen in your life. Stop trying to raise your vibration. And instead try to release the energetic muck that is covering you up. This is how all of my clients have achieved the wonders that they have, from healings to manifestations to absolute wonderful expressions of connectiveness. You have to understand that there is nothing that you want or need underneath all of this energetic muck. Everything that the world has put on you, it's time to let go of it. You see, your mothers, your fathers, your school life, your teachers, that boyfriend or girlfriend that just broke your heart you're still having an emotional reaction towards that situation you're carrying the emotion of that situation 10 20 years later so just start to recognize where it shows up in your life when someone looks at you funny when the person speeds past you how are you reacting to life in that moment this is the sign this is the key of where energetic muck is there so take the time to sit pull over if you're driving though guys yeah don't sit with it whilst driving that's probably not a good idea but notice it don't act from it observe it release it then claim lovingly and boldly that which you want and you will change your life do this in the, that i've just suggested in this one video and you'll manifest anything you want take care guys i'll see you at the next one